my goodness, what a fun week we had. A special film crew came to our lovely farm to film our lives. We got some gardening done, had friends come over to help put up the mama beam of our outdoor kitchen. And most of this has to be kept secret for a few months at least. Okay, so mother beam is no more. The mother beam is going to be in two parts, which isn't a problem because we have this huge column over here and we're going to have huge braces over here. So, yeah, measured this out. I'm going to cut a notch so we can take it up. <laughs> Slowly up, no jerky movements. Try and bang, yeah. Put it on there, that's it. Just push it out, that's it. Now yeah, roll it. Okay, that's marked. Now we take it down and then I can chip it and take it away tomorrow and then put it up again. Okay, now we leave it or it will fall. Bring it down now. Bring it down. Don't drop it now, it's over here too. <laughs>
Thank you very much, Ian. Thanks for breaking my mother beam in half. <laughs> well, it was your tree. Yeah, uh, <laughs> I know. So this mother beam, I had never actually debarked it and it was quite white, like it had the fungus and it was quite wet. I did break it with the digger, but the way it broke, I'm a bit worried. That doesn't look good at all. No, that's definitely not good. We have a problem. What? This beam isn't good. Huh? This beam isn't good. Why? Come and see. Look. I just cut uh, off a slice. It's very soft. Look, look. What do you do? No, no. Look. It's soft. Yeah. Can you almost eat this? It's so soft. Now I That's have the other it... one there, which then I could replace with a freshly cut one. But it might be the same. Because yeah. that's the, the only two we didn't debuff. Yeah. So stupid. So stupid. So well, it's good this happened. Yeah, but still. Because I would have put it up and not noticed. Yeah. So, sir, why are we taking outside? Because we have some guests over. We're going to have some guests. We're going to have some guests over pretty soon. We're going to need some extra cooling place yes, we for are. them. And it's all very exciting. I'm going to be with my cooler. <laughs> Look where we're going to put this. I thought maybe here. just under there. Yeah. So it's in the shade and under the umbrella eventually when it's open. Okay. But for now, we'll just plonk it there and we can check it out. Plonk it here. We can plug it in and see how to use it. Okay, very good. Okay, so it comes with two different cables. One for your cigarette lighter Ooh. and the normal 220. So let's plug it in and see how it works. Well, it's a fridge. We all know how a fridge works. But <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Oops, came straight on. Okay, so that's obviously the power button. Turbo, we can turn that on and see how much it wastes maybe. Tur that's this is the mode. C, low, 24. Oh, so this you can change from Fahrenheit to degrees Celsius. Okay, we'll change it back to Celsius because it makes more sense. Low, ne, high. So we'll put it on high, turbo, and that's pretty much it. So it's uh, 57 liters, it's pretty big. And it goes from minus 20 degrees Celsius to four degrees Celsius. Awesome. So I put it on high. We'll uh, see how many watts it's using. I can check through my phone, through our own power system. So I'll keep an eye on this and see how long, because as soon as it reaches temperature, okay, it's empty. But as soon as it reaches temperature, it will turn off and stop using electricity. Um, but yeah, I'll keep an eye on it and we'll let you know how long it took to reach minus 20. Which means you can take ice cream to the beach. <laughs> nice. <laughs> okay, yesterday it took one hour to go down to minus 18 with the turbo. I mean, it was empty, so 
it didn't freeze everything obviously but that's pretty quick now today we've got a bunch of stuff for our guests who are coming um, but I put it on four degrees and it reaches temperature and cuts off from using energy really really quick I'm really impressed with it tomorrow they'll be here so everything will be nice and cold and cool and they can put their lunches in there pretty sweet We've got it hooked up with a battery pack, um, solar generator and panels, so it's independent from our system, so no matter what they'll have cool yeah. stuff. <laughs> Shall we move it in so it's not in yeah. the sun? What happened, Pepper? Hello Pepper, what do you want, an apple? You smelt the apples through the plastic. <laughs> You're a piggy, you are. You're a piggy, piggy, piggy. Go. All right, so don't forget if you want one of these beauties, there's the link in the description below and we have a coupon code as well. So check it out. Thank you very much Craft Fuel for this awesome cooler. We'll definitely be using it, especially when we go to the beach. Uh, excuse me, Peppa. You're going to drop my sink. Peppa, Peppa. Stop. And there's another pig behind me. Mm -hmm. You're smelling the bread. The bread is in the oven. Today is a very exciting day. It's a movie out of my office. I have made this my office for the last two weeks and it is amazing because when I need to concentrate, sometimes it's better to have a space all to myself without any interruptions, dogs, cats, Luke coming in and out. I found that I'm being a lot more productive this way, so I really like it. But today I am moving out for about five days because we have a special guest coming to stay in here even just thinking about it puts a huge smile on my face i can't share with you who it is all i can tell you is a film crew is coming and this one person is going to stay in the caravan and i am very excited to meet the whole crew I'm with that done, I'm just even more super excited. I can't believe this day is actually happening. I knew it was gonna happen, but now that it's here, I'm just, I can't believe it. Um, I wish I could share more with you guys. I can't as yet, but I am allowed to share a bit more on Patreon because it's a more exclusive platform. So if you wanna find out more, then head on there. You'll be supporting us, we'll be happy, and you'll get to know a little bit more. Molly, are you excited? Are you, who's coming here today? Shh, don't tell anyone. It's a secret. It's a secret. Don't kiss mommy. Kiss me then. <laughs> You're so sweet.
So I think I've managed to transfer the measurements from the previous mother beam to this one. So I need to take out this, 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 that. And I need a new marker. Right, so. Okay, that's one. pretty much ready for four people to grab it and throw it up there I think. Now some of you may be wondering why aren't you using your digger? Well it's got a few hydraulic leaks it's to be expected um, when you fix an old digger like that you fix one thing then the weakest thing goes you fix that the way so we're probably in for a lot of all this little fixes along the way over the next few years um, probably till I change all the hydraulic hoses and all that. So the digger is on holiday yet again. But we did find some lovely people to help us put up the new mama beam, so the digger was not needed. As excited as I was when the film crew arrived, they put my mind at rest. They were just so lovely. And because they are pros at what they do, we got their advice on quite a few things and they were more than happy to help us. So we learnt a lot, had a lot of fun, and Peppa even wore a GoPro for a few hours. She wore it so well. She was such a true Oh my goodness, wow, you're very clever. The week was wonderful. We learned so much from our new friends and they filmed us as we got on with our day-to-day -day lives. I finally harvested our sweet potato, but it wasn't as amazing as all that. We're not going to be selling any sweet potato anytime soon. When I started digging them out, near every root there was a mole hill. Well, a shrew hill, because that's what we have here, apparently. So it was already not looking good. But I found a few nice big ones, which we will have in soup and stew. And the rest will go to Peppa and Maggie. Yes! Wow.
these are all eaten. I also took some of the leaves of the sweet potato to dry them because I love making leaf pictures and I love the leaves of the sweet potato. I don't know why I got it in my head that sweet potato leaves are poisonous for pigs when we can eat them as humans and I threw them all in the compost but then Luke looked up that they're actually really good for pig feed. They're not too keen on eating them fresh so I'm drying them out. Hopefully they get crispy enough for me to crush them and put them with their food. I also harvested some of our beans, we had loads and now our freezer is full of beans and we are also drying some for seed for next year. I know, you want to go walkies, right? We're going to go too.
I am back at my office, which means that our guests have left. Now, I could have kept all this a secret from you till this TV show was aired, but I thought there'd be a little gap in our videos because they filmed the mother beam growing up with the help of some friends and with the help of another special person. So thank you so much, all of you. You know who you are. And I did take some awesome behind the scenes footage, but I obviously can't share it with you guys yet. We were going through some crazy hot times for October, so it was really lucky that we had this craft fuel cooler to keep their lunches and their snacks cool. So if you are looking for a cooler or a freezer to take with you camping or on picnics, or if you need some extra fridge space for parties and holidays, well, head on down to the description because you can get your own craft fuel there. This fridge has been an absolute lifesaver for this shoot. Go on, for example, we've kept all of our snacks and drinks Icy cold in 30 odd degree temperatures and yes. it's been perfect. Come four o'clock, I need some chocolate, otherwise I can't do my job. And this fridge has kept it from melting in 33 no. degree heat. No. Thank you. You want to go walk Do you can. You want to go walk these mags? Oh my goodness, what a wonderful week it was. And thank you so very much to everyone involved who made it so special. Thank you to the crew for making it so easy and so much fun. Thank you to our very helpful friends who are always there when we need them. Thank you, Katrina, for adding to our future pig enclosure fund. And thank you to our patrons for all the support you give us to help us keep producing these videos. And thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Have an awesome week ahead. I'll see you in our next video.